Hey, hello guys so welcome back to hackers colony once again and this other so guys today in this video i'm going to be showing you how to encrypt or decrypt any files using your thermax so guys it's very simple very easy guys what you need to do you need to simply follow the video from start till end and if you are new to my channel do not forget to like subscribe comment and hit on the bell icon for more updates so guys let's get started with the video guys so let's get started with the video so as usual you have to turn on your thermux so once you turn on your thermux you have to type the first command that is apt update and, and an apt upgrade and then hit on enter so whenever you type this command it will fix all your old tool problems and it will give update to your new tools okay and i mean your old tools all right so once you're done with that you'll be seeing an option over here why uh, do you want to continue why and yes and answer no so you have to type here why and then hit on enter but in my condition i will type n and hit on enter to skip to make the video short all right to skip this part so you have to type y and then hit on enter once you're done with that go for the next command that is pkg install python 2 and then hit on enter and wait for it until it's done so once it's done now go for the next command that is a pkg install git and then hit on enter and wait for a while until it's done so once it's done now go for the next command that is git clone so guys i have given the git clone link in the description so simply go to the description of the video copy the link come over here and type their git clone give a space long press and press the link over here and then hit on enter after that once it's done now go for the next command that is ls after that type here cd bash frustrator and then hit on enter once it's done now go for the next command that is ls and then you can hit on enter after that you have to type the last command that is python okay so it's a uh, python 2 frustrator.py and then hit on enter now you'll be able to see the tool has been installed in your thermux now you'll be you'll be able to see two options over here number one is encrypt number two is decrypt so you have to choose which one you want so in my condition i'll just show you as uh, i'll show you encrypt okay so you'll, you have to type here select option type here one you can type even two whichever you want okay then you'll be getting an option like script so in the script you have to type here like this the uh, the path of the uh, the path of the files which you want to encrypt where the file is it you have to type that options here i mean like example you have keep your files in the downloads so you have to go type here downloads the for uh, you have to type here the folder full details the path of the script okay so like uh, uh, you have to type here give a forward slash like i'm still i'm just showing an example okay i don't have anything to encrypt but i'm showing an example how to deal with this so you have to type here data data give a slash all right after that type here com example i'm just showing you the uh, example if i have keep the uh, if you have keep the files in the thermux you have to type here com the thermux give a slash type here files give a slash and then type here home then give a slash then type here unencrypted okay e n c r y p t e d okay it's unencrypted t e d un e n e n c r y p t e t unencrypted give a underscore f i l e files underscore dot uh, underscore sh okay and then hit on enter now output so output means after inc after encrypting the files where you want to save these files okay so you have a type here again the same uh, it will be like data data give forward slash com dot thermux thermux give us forward slash if i alias file alias files give a forward slash home all right now give a forward slash now you here you have to type encrypted because you have uh, at the top script you have typed it there see you can see over here it's unencrypted right now you have to type here encrypted okay so e n c r y p t e d encrypted give an underscore f i l e s underscore s h and then hit on enter so you can see over here uh, bash ops obscate inaccessible not found so i don't have any files in my thermos folder to encrypt but you have to if you have any files over there you will be able to see the option that will be encrypted and it will be showing here done all right and then you can go to the same folder where you have saved the files and you will be see you'll be able to see the files which you have typed over there that will be that has already been in uh, encrypted okay and so you can just try this one if you have any problem anything guys simply comment below and guys i have given a whatsapp telegram facebook link in the description simply click on that and you can share your problems you can join our membership all right so thank you so much for watching guys and guys if you're new to my channel do not forget to, forget to like subscribe comment and hit on the bell icon for more updates so guys thank you so much for watching guys have a blessed day guys bye bye